You are now tuned in to, to Clearly, Clearly Culture. Episode five, Clearly Culture. Here with my gang, it's your boy J Mac, Young Jazz. Mike Mills. Yeah. And this is how we do. Now, this is a special episode yep. because this dude right here, mm -hmm. I've heard about him for quite some time. Mm. When I first met him, I met him in this store. He goes by the name of Corey. I'm going to call him the young king of YouTube. Hey, hey smooth, man. Appreciate the love, brother. <laughs> Appreciate the love. I'm here. Yeah, man, in. I don't know anything about you. I know you know Jazz, and then yeah. I know yeah, you yeah. know like Mike, and I know they have interviewed you many times. But how did you get in the game, man? Facebook. I started on Facebook in um, Alabama when I was like 15, 16 years old. And um, I just, I built an audience on Facebook and I was like, okay, I'm doing this for free. And I saw how it was going up and I just transferred to YouTube because I saw people on, on YouTube living life just by doing videos. So I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm like, they doing it, I could do it. And I literally did it. Like, I just planned it out and I just did it. Okay, you planned it out and you just did it. Yeah. But how did you know it was going to work? Faith. Faith. Yeah. I mean, if it worked for them, why would it not work for me? <laughs> okay. What kind, of, what kind of videos were you making? Well, so at first I started off just going live. I used to go live. Mm -hmm. I used to just get on there. I used to just be myself. like, And I used to just do entertaining stuff for the fans. Like, I used to do crazy stuff, bro. I'd be in the <laughs> kitchen trolling, cooking stuff that I know for a fact it don't go like that. i put ice cream in a pot, cooking on the stove. I used to be trolling, though, you know what I'm saying? And then um, I used to always dress up, just take pictures and dress up. You'd be clean as hell. And pictures used to go viral, and I used to be with a girl. Every every girl I had, I noticed that when I added them on Facebook, the numbers go up. So I'm like, okay, they like when I be in relationships. And that's how I got into the relationships. Like, okay, I'm going to go on YouTube, and I'm going to get a girl, you know what I'm saying, whoever want to ride or die with me, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to change their life and go ride. Okay, so you got a girl. How did you pick Carmen? Bro, shoot, on, off Instagram, <laughs> I had my girl with my hair, my, my, my ex had cheated on me, bro. And, um... I had just found out I was hurt, no cap. And I was in the room one night in the bed, just sitting up scrolling on Instagram. And I seen her. But mind you, I've been new on Instagram. I thought she lived out the country somewhere, though. I never talked to her for real, for real. But we had a conversation one time, and it was just like, hey, she responded like two months later. And I responded like another month later. <laughs> and so but so happened when I do respond is when the girl cheated on me, and I respond to her. I'm like, let me get your number. Let's start talking. And it just went from there, bro. I got a number and shit. Found out she was like 35, 45 minutes away from me. Wow. <laughs> now, how long y'all been together? Seven years. Going on seven years. I want to take it back. How did you get your work ethic? Um, how does a person who was going from working on cars, used to work on cars? Yeah, my pops. To make that work ethic work for you two? Man, my grandfather and my dad, you know, they're the ones who installed and instilled everything inside me with kind of the knowledge, the real ethic. You feel me? And just growing up, seeing my dad just work for everything he want, build everything he did, it, it just... And then it wasn't easy growing up my pops. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't just the, the easiest pops to grow up with. So I feel like a lot of that trauma passed down on me to make, make sure I go be something in life. Okay. I like that you said that. It wasn't easy growing up with your pops. So what does he say when you say, Dad, I want to do this, and I want this to be my career? Because I had grown up, and my parents didn't love me being on the radio. They looked down on it. Right. So how did your father take to you doing social media they ain't even they ain't know nobody knew what i was doing i left what? my home i just left at yeah. what age what at what age mean? at 18 like so when i uh soon I, gra I graduated high school like i was working my pops and everything i was on social media but they didn't know what i was doing on social media for real like my mom she kind of knew she was there seeing it but they just thought i was just bullshitting around or whatever right they ain't know the vision i had and then um you know my pops he just thought that i was lazy because he was like you don't want to come to work I'm going to show you, you know what I'm saying? And so when I got out of school, my mind, I ain't go to graduation, none of that. I ain't go to school. I ain't attend any school. <laughs> I hated school. Right. I was just ready to get out so I can go. And then on graduation day, I ain't even go to, I ain't even go. I just went to, a, I went to Florida. My, my pa, they ain't none of them knew. And then um, when I left Alabama and went to Houston, they still like, what the hell he doing? Right. And that's thing, I came back home. I'm, I'm mean there. <laughs> what you later? <laughs> what is what does Pops think now? You know, with oh, with all the success, oh, he best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all still really close? Oh yeah, my, yeah, my, I know my Pops today, bro. You know, I mean, like throughout everything he even we went through, I never turned my back. And he was like my hero, like, even though I he made me mad. I never like disrespected him none of that to this day. And what about mom? Oh, I love mom. You know, my mom. Uh -huh. She here actually. She uh she at home. She live she live here now. Did yeah. y'all hear him say he 
was a millionaire. Hey, wait, wait, that's what I want to know. Wait, he wait, made wait. it seem like it was easy. Yeah, casual, casual. <laughs> but, yeah. And then that came back at me. No, but like, when did you get, like, how long did it take you to get that first big check and stuff from YouTube? Uh, it took roughly like 10 months. 10 months? Yeah. Damn, not even a year. That's good. That's impressive. Well, like, no, I took off. We blew up in six months. But just to start getting the real big bad, it went like 10 months. Oh, check this out. Before you came, I Googled you. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Stupid you guy. don't tell me, have to tell me how much you are worth. Yeah. But it says you're worth eighteen million. How close to that is it wrong or right? How close? It sounds worth eighteen million. Yeah, I ain't even seen that shit. <laughs> I think it said eighteen million. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd have made well over ten, but now they 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 just uh, over exaggerating. Right? Okay, ten, ten with just YouTube alone. Yeah, that just YouTube. No, no, three three million on YouTube, three four million on YouTube. So I really not nah, and, and ten million on something else. Okay. Yeah, that's like all my other stuff, like my my giveaways and you know my other investments. I'm in real estate, but I got a lot of stuff. I've invested in the stock market and stuff, you know. And I invest into other people's business, which also get me money back. So it's just like money just be coming everywhere. I really never keep up with it, bro. Really? I, nah, I don't. It's, it's not, a great problem to have. Wow, yeah. <laughs> nah, because it, nah, it's just like, bro, because I had that that era where when I first started getting money. I come from nothing. My population three thousand people. Uh huh. You know, so three thousand. Yeah. I'm from a small town, like very, 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 very small. I'm the only person that ever made up this big. Well, I got people that are coming out now, so I'm proud of them boys, you know what I'm saying? Football players, uh, some of my boys that I know, they, they doing their thing, but like as big as I am, I'm the only person. And I mean, when I, when I made it out, touched all this money, car, clothes, and stuff, and I realized none of this shit, it's not, it's not worth it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to find another purpose. So I really don't care about money. I just, as long as I can maintain my life and take care of my family, you know, my kids, I'm cool. And guys, do me a favor real quick. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and now back to the episode. And I'm glad you said that. You're young. Why you get married so young and got all this money? Because <laughs> most dudes that have this much money, this much power, they want everything. And when I say everything, they want all the women. You could have all the celebrity women right now. Hell, fuck no. I, even, I don't get that. I've never been that person. What's the purpose of going behind celebrity women? They had Everybody had them. Ah. Ran through. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll just be the next person on the list. Like, right. what's special? Right. I, no, I'm cool, bro. You, you got to find that one person that going to stick with you through thick and thin. Because you see the other people, they dip when shit get worse. It get hard. So it's like, you got to find somebody that go, when, when it get hard, they go stay down with you and go back up. So me and my wife, she came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Her, our story is deep. I can't share it right now because she got a... Uh, her book and everything coming out, her story can come out. Okay. It's something that the real haven't known about our relationship t since this day, like that we've been held in back, and it's a oh, I can't big wait. part of our relationship. When why we staying together, why we been together, why we got married, and everything that, and it's deep. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to tell you why we got married at age. Eight, why I got married at age. Eight, well, I know that. Wait. I know that she believe in you, yeah. because I did some research. She quit her job. Oh yeah. And. You really have to believe in somebody to quit your I ain't job. I don't lie you. You know, I still like, damn, you right, bro. I mean, not even just that. I made her, she was going to the Air Force. I made her just give it up. She was right. already in for to get ready to go and everything. And I met her, I'm out. Of, I'm in school. She out of school. And when I met her, I'm like, nah, you got to get rid of that. I'm going to make you rich on YouTube. Just believe in you. Okay. What was the mama saying at this particular point? She used to be Spanish, so to this day, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell what she said. <laughs> <laughs> black man that came in, her daughter's school, her job. Oh, yeah. She probably hated me at the beginning, you know. Oh, my God. But she never showed it, though. You feel what I'm saying? And, but now they love me, though. They love me to death. You feel me? Like, did, did Carmen have a social media presence when you got with her? Or did it, did it elevate more once y'all, like, oh, the no, synergy it, of y'all bringing it? Carmen, bro, she only had Instagram. Really? And she only had like she had like I think like four thousand followers at the time. You and how many she got now? Shit. Four million. Four point seven million something. No, that's you. No, she got four point seven. I got four point six. Six. Okay. Yeah. I knew it was one. Wow. Yeah, but we got so many different pages though, bro. We got. I we look got at followers. The list. I don't even <laughs> talk about that. Fifteen million followers on all, all all the way around our platforms. What would you say to someone just getting getting on YouTube? that wants to either start a career or help a career that they already got going, what are some words of advice you can give somebody that's watching this right now? Smoothcreatorcourse.com. Oh, you got a course you sell? I just dropped. Just dropped the course, man. Uh, we've been working on it since last year, and I'm giving out the game and showing people how to actually just excel their YouTube channel. You know, and then I got the business, uh, the business mastery course coming behind that so that I can teach them how to build their credit and how to fund, get funds and use YouTube to build a business, their brand, not just to get on there and make content, build a brand so that you can have something to stand on. So you think you can make anybody big on the internet? You got to be inside you first. 
Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I can give you the you, I can give you access to a million people. Right. Put you in front of people. What are you gonna do to get their attention for them like you? I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I can give you the game and a formula on how to build your YouTube, on how to build an online presence, but it got to be in you. You got to want it. You know what I'm saying? So it, like, it, it's only for the people who it's meant for. Right. You know? So that's how I look at it. I mean, the way I did it, I feel like it should be no excuse for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Man, you seem like a wise dude. Give me your five top books you've read. Uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, First 48 Laws. I mean, I, mean, I said First 48, mm. <laughs> 48 Laws. <laughs> 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 uh, I love the uh, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. Uh-huh. Uh, what else I like? Uh, well, my favorite one is the Project 369. Okay. Project 369, that's the key to the universe. I love that book. And you got to add the Bible. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? The Bible is like one of Great the main Great collection. Ones. Yeah, but I, I read a lot. I love reading. Reading Great is where you get the knowledge that you need to be successful from. And most people skip <laughs> that whole route. <laughs> you feel me? And not here trying to figure it out. And I'm like, yo, bro, just read the books. Get the information first. Then you'll know exactly where to go. You just got to puzzle and scramble out trying to figure it out. It don't even got to be that hard. You just lazy to pick up a book. So wait, you've always been a reader, but you didn't like school. Oh, yeah. I was in school. I was a nerd. I used to love go to the book fair and everything. I love to read now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was <laughs> okay, born in school. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I just hated it because it was pointless. I used to go in the classroom. I knew this stuff. I used to get my friend's paper and just put down some on <laughs> and sit in the back and clad clown. Wow. <laughs> when you came to T. Wayne house that day and you did the That's song. Crazy. Did you, <laughs> you, you pray that up? <laughs> did you think that you would uh, be putting out a whole bunch of songs and open up doing stuff at Summer Jam? Because I saw you performing at Summer Jam. Yeah. Did you think you would go that far in the rap? I mean, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Then when I did it, not at all, because I'm I was a YouTube. When I when I started doing music, I just took it serious last year. All the old songs I have, I, I look at it like YouTube content. I wasn't a music artist then. I was just doing it for YouTube. I do right. My, you know what I'm saying? We record our own videos. It ain't nothing to just make a song and then just do a video to it. You know, so I was looking at it like that. Then that's when I started looking at it different. Now, like, oh shit, okay, I'm taking it serious now. And there was so much that I didn't know about the music industry, bro. Like, right now, I'm not even excited by it no more. You're not? Why? Oh, fuck no. Oh, bro, the music industry is, like, one of the most wicked industry there is, bro. Wow. You know, and most people, and I hate to say this, but you know me to keep it real. Most people are a lot of silk with calm with it because they want to make it out their situation. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't come from nothing to try to get something. So it's like, they ain't going to make a fool out of me. Right. I'm going to just do it myself and, get my, and I make it how far I make it. You know what I'm saying? But my investments and everything else I got going on, cool. I just do it because I love it. Now um, that you've now that you done the transition to music, have you had any record labels come knock on the door? Bro, I had a lot of weird shit happen. I had a, had a like, real talk. No, I had a lot of weird people. Really, bro? I had I got some stories. What's, what's the weirdest one? Give us this one. Yeah, it don't have one. to be one so deep. Just give well, us. I mean, something. it ain't really too much. Cause I really don't want to like bring up the situation. But it's just like it was a lot of different people coming through. And mind you, I'm not knowing what they want. I'm thinking that they just fuck with Corey. I see what you're doing, but the whole time they all had agendas and they all worked with labels and they was trying to swindle me in. They were trying to get him a business and shit, trying to like, how much you do, what you do here, how you make this, how you do that. And when I realized what was going on, I just started acting dumb with everybody. Right. Yeah, they probably think I'm stupid as hell, but the whole time I already knew what was going on. Knew the game. I'm just letting them come in and walk yourself out. Okay, you know, what do you say to the people that say, that young boy can't really be making that much money off of YouTube. I've seen him. He got all the jewelry. <laughs> he wears all the clothes. He has the big house. He doing something else. What do you say to those people? <laughs> I mean, that's how the world works, Jazz. No, really, it's right. funny. I mean, you'll be amazed, bro. Every neighborhood I moved in, they thought I sell drugs. They really? Had, bro, they had police watching my house. I thought it was patrolling shit. <laughs> 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 the, black people, the, the black people at the gate, they like, yo, be careful, because uh, the police, they, they watching your house. They saying you got you sell drugs, you have high traffic. I'm like, what? <laughs> I try to go find them. Like I want to tell them, like, man, look, man, I'm a rich YouTuber, bro. I ain't no damn drug dealer. Right, <laughs> right. You know, I just started smoking. I never even smoked none of that. You <laughs> feel me? Like I used to hate weed. I was like, man, I don't like that. But it's funny that I smoke now, but it cooled my mind down a little bit. But I mean, I just laugh. I mean, like, bro, my life is on the internet. And that's the only thing I tell you about. My life is on the internet. That's one thing I can bless to be able to say. Like when people come to me, I can't lie to you a cap because anything I say, I can go pull it up and show you proof. Everything. From my from my relationship, from my, when I got with Carmen, everything on, on the internet. I shared my whole life. 
Okay, wait. Somebody had sent me the video y'all did a couple months ago where y'all broke up. Oh, yeah. So we got a TV show coming out. And, and, and the story was really was to inspire a lot of younger couples because we've been through so much stuff. Man, you know, and people seen on yeah, the internet, all the teen drama, all that shit. We've been through so much and we still together, but it's like, I love it so real and pure. And it's just like, we be, we trying to show people, like, you know, people just so stuck on the negativity, bro. Like, right. this shit real life, you know? And we, and, and we go through stuff like a normal couple, but y'all praise these celebrities, couples, and y'all think that everybody just always happy and things just rainbows. So we said when our show come out, we're going to just lay the story out on what we've been through. So that was just one of the episodes that's, that's actually being built right now. Like, it's way deeper than what people think it is. They thought that was something. Really? When does that come out? Uh, well, shit, bro. You know, I got a meme right now. I'll post it on the phone. I don't know. They planning everything now because they talking to a lot of networks for our TV show. You know, right now um, I'm talking. I'm in talks with uh, John Catchman. This is the guy that did uh, Will Smith show, Jamie Foxx. He broke Will Smith, and Jamie right. Foxx, and so he the guy that's behind me right now. And he like, oh yeah, I don't know. They all excited, but, but I don't see nothing. I'm not, I mean, like I'm just, I'm here. You feel me? Like just give me what I got to do. Man, how big is your staff to run a big production like you do, and to have all these YouTube channels and stuff like that? How many people are really working for you? Believe me. Nobody, bro. Come on, man. I'm on my show. I mean, I got my team, my family, my bros. They, That's it. But I don't have no t- I do everything. I'm really, I'm like the head. I do everything. Like, you you edit too? Yeah, well, uh, I edit, but right now, Carmen edits the videos. And I got a camera guy, but I'm back editing, basically. That is so crazy. I do everything. You, you never thought about hiring somebody or getting somebody to do it for you? I might have had plenty of cameramans to edit just my content. Mm-hmm. You know, Carmen, we edit our content. We have a team sometimes that we go work with. Um, when they, we work with them. When we do content, they'll edit it. But, you know, just people think that, you know, I be seeing other people, they got a whole team. They got yeah. 16 right. and all PR and all that. I'm just like, what my eyes at? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but it's hard, bro, because everybody just come in, they just want money. They agree. Right. I, I done dealt with some of the people that come in, bro. They just they just want money and they not. They don't really do what they say they do. So. Right. And I'm like, how the hell y'all meet the people that really do what they do? Because I keep meeting people that's just saying they do this, and they come in, and they, like, they learning it. You right. You feel me? Like, so I don't need nobody that's learning with me. I need somebody that know what they're doing. That just that take away my time. And, you know, being rich this young, when do you say no? Because I know a lot of people ask you all the time, can I that's, get this? Can I get some money? And how do you determine who you going to help? That, that's like, the, so... What I do, bro, because I give so much. You feel right. me? Like a lot of people know me so, too, because I give away so much money, bro. Like I always go on live. I just do casual giveaways. You know, I just. Do I mean, it. you seem nice. Your whole energy is somebody who cares and is nice to me. And I, I the interview people a million times, so I understand yeah. your energy. Your whole vibe is like, hey, <laughs> hey, if you want this hat, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, we're talking laughs> That's how see. you seem to me, and I really don't know you. Like I said, they love you. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Yeah, tell I mean, me. I mean, it's hard, bro. You know, that's one of the hardest things I've been dealing with, man, saying no. You know, and it's just like the fact that I did say no a lot of time. I should have said it put me in a situation that I was like, I, sh- I shouldn't have been in, you feel me? So now I'm working on it, you feel me? It's just like now I just try, I'm just i trying to be more mean, bro. Right. It's hard, though, because it's like that's not me. It's like, fuck. But then again, like the real don't understand, I can't help everybody. Right. What's the worst investment you ever made? Ooh, the worst investment I ever made. Uh, shit, there ain't too many <laughs> it's got to be something you yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a few of them. I mean, like I a made, house you bought or something, a car you was like, I don't want that car. That car is not even worth it. Probably the, the, the first investment I probably made was just spending ten thousand dollars on a course. Then that went in, and then because bro, everything get, I don't know. I mean, when it come out of me, it's hard, bro, because I don't do too much stupid stuff. Right. And then if I do something, go have a, I'm, I'm gonna have a strategic plan behind it. So that's why if it do fail, it go real quick, you know. So. Yeah, I ain't never had no, I ain't never bought no bad car. That never been a problem. I haven't bought my house, my first house yet. I'm actually gonna build. So that's what I've been waiting on. Really? Yeah, I'm not gonna just buy one. I'm gonna build my dream house and build it the way I vision it. You know what I'm saying? My wife, her, how she want it, and we finna get ready to do that probably at the end of this year or next year. How y'all make business decisions? Is it fifty fifty? Like, hey, we should do this podcast. We should do this business. My wife just ride with me, bro. Okay. She just ride with me, man. You know, and she want to do something, whatever. But like, she, we never had, you know, we never had no financial problem. Like, never, never had no problem when it come down to working together. On top, we get mad with each other, attitude and thing. But other than that, like, we never had no real problem to come down to like money and business. So, what do you think the keys are to a successful relationship, <sighs> marriage? Because you've been married quite some time, and yeah. you're doing it young for a young person's perspective. I ain't gonna lie, communication. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, faith in the in the relationship. You gotta keep God first in the relationship. You know, and I definitely say, man, uh, give each other space when y'all need space. And to the guys, bro, we gonna be guys, but if you go fuck up, bro, make a smart decision. Cause I never want to be the guy to tell guys, man, don't go out here. And don't don't fuck up. It, it, we can't control life. We can't control the situation that we be in. But you got to make wise decisions. I tell people, you go do something, have that, that second thought of the consequences. Sometimes we'll make decisions, think of the consequences afterwards. Shit, we did it already. You right, right. <laughs> it ain't fuck, but So that'll be my best advice to give to people, bro, from me from being married. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done made a lot of dumbass decisions. Like, just, but... It ain't never went nothing past, nothing like to talking to a girl or cheating some dumb shit. But even now when I look back at that, I see how much energy I wasted. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I see how much damage you, you really caused on a person because that person doing it to you, how you going to take it? You're right. And so, shit, that's what I learned. And now I move, I move smooth, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't even, I don't have time for the dumb and, shit, bro. And, Corey, you had brought up, obviously, you love cars. You love doing giveaways. Yeah. Now, I got to ask you a real question right now, okay? Because it's something that I personally see myself even on Fox 26, local news station out here. Right. Was uh, on the on the car giveaways you did. Yeah. You know, you had, I think it was two different guys come out, and they basically were trying to say that the situation wasn't okay. legit or whatever it was. Right. But I want you to let the people know what what happened? What happened in that so situation? So what happened was, bro, the crazy... And you know what's so crazy about the story? The, the main people who we should be talking about is, like, they just... Like this, I, over here, just like the way... I bought this car from an NFL player, NFL player named Sean. I forgot his last name, but he was Sean. He an old NFL player whatever. And, uh, you know, he reached out to me through Coop. You know, they, he got me... He, Coop called me, like, hey, man, Sean, I want to reach out to you. Black Label Exotics. Yeah, yep, you yep. know, he was like, man, you know what I'm saying, buddy, want to talk to you, a good guy, NFL player, he got two cars, you know what I'm saying, you, wanna, you look at it, you want to give him away or whatever. All right, cool. So I hit the dude up, then I went down to the house, checked him out. All this on camera, all this shit on YouTube. <laughs> right. <laughs> Your whole life's on there. It's on YouTube, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. make this up. And then, bro, you know, we, like, we made an agreement, he was like, all right, look, uh, I, I want to give away the cars. I was like, all right, so look, bro, this is what I do. If you want me to give away your car, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you how much the car is worth, and I'll give you 20% more than that. $20,000, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a that's Deal. A what, what kind of car? Hit. What kind of car was it? It was a jailbreak and a damn Hellcat Charger. A jailbreak challenge and a Hellcat Charger. Mm -hmm. Nah, the deal was going to be 220 bands. I would give them 220000 you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Man, so the giveaway going, giveaway over with. Uh, I paid I paid the dude for the cars, you feel me? I gave him money once it's five for the car, you know what I'm saying? I said the rest of it come on after we get the title and everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything's cool. Title, he said I paid for it, it's on the way. I got the messages, he's sending me that it's coming. I see the title, so I'm telling the guy, before they came, I told the dude, I said, look, the title is on the way. You wanna take this car now or you wanna leave it here? I said, if you take it now, I just give you my tag, cause I don't want you riding no tag on the car all the way. To Atlanta. Right. right. It's an older cat. I'm thinking that he, I'm like, man, 54, he ain't even gonna do no dumb shit. Right. I swear to God, that's how I thought. Like, he ain't even do no dumb shit. Man, man, he What'd got. What do you do? It's on YouTube. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I gotta go look at YouTube. God, he, God. Let, he let some other guy get in the car and they doing video vlogging. They doing donuts and oh, all that type of shit. Get pulled by the cops. So now they get put by the cops, and the cops asking everything. He called me. I'm telling like, you know, the car is legit. You know what I'm saying? I bought it. The title's on the way. Everything good. You feel me? But he lied to the cops about something. So the cop took him in, took, took the, uh, the dude that was driving to jail and impounding the car because he lied about something. Right. So I'm trying to help them get the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling me. Like, we're trying to get everything situated. Skip, the, skip everything. Come to find out, the people who I bought the car from, they, they got the title. They went to Atlanta. Said this is our car. Got the car back. We you don't, lying? We don't. I, I can't make this up. I got all the messages and everything. I got the proof of videos and everything. Oh my god! Listen, went to Atlanta, got the car, came back to Houston, went and sold the cars to um some damn um, car lot down here in Houston. It, ABZ Motors or something like that. Oh my god! Sold the car to them. It's on YouTube. I went there too. <laughs> <laughs> I went there too. Dead ass, bro. And yeah, sold the car. So and then they stole my hundred sixty five thousand dollars. You got both cars back. You sold the cars. And you know what I'm saying? I was trying my best to, like, root with the, the winner. Like, because I'm thinking that, man, what the fuck going on? He told me that they went and got it. Right. And so that put me in a weird-ass situation. Because so, you're down 165, too, on yeah, top of, like, the... the, the car right, on. right, oh right. And they, and they trying to say that I scammed them. And like, trying to say that it's, like, not the It's like, then what, what fucked me over, bro, just to show you how people are, is, like, them men came to my house. 
the other man, Tia, he I brought him man to Florida with me, bro, on vacation to one of my trips with my people. Before or after the situation? Uh, before all this before. happened. Right, right, right. So right. you know what type of person I am. You've right. been around my family, man. Right, you, right. You know, man. For, and then when they came out with that, it was crazy. And they had, he called me one day, they were talking crazy, like talking great. Man, with my car, and ooh, ooh. And then when I was like, you know what, bro, fuck this shit. I said, bro, because I don't got to deal with this. I lost money. You feel what I'm saying? The car got stole because your mistake. You got pulled over. You. <laughs> right, you right. Know what I'm saying? This ain't my mistake. Right. And so I was like, you know, when they did that shit, bro, I left it alone. And then next thing I know, the news called me. Hey, a tear, Bobby, who it come? And I'm like, how are you serious? And she told me what they say, straight lies. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, how the fuck you go to the news and lie? And I got all the proof in my phone. Right. I went there. I told the truth. I ain't seen the episode drop yet. Wow. So what? So what happens now? Do you do you, does do you just lose the one sixty five? Oh, bro, let me tell you something, bro. It didn't get resolved. One thing in life would come out of me, y'all. I just put God in front of everything. I just learned how to like, cause I could have spashed out. I, I really wanted. I was like on some, really, but I said, you know what, bro? It ain't worth it. I got too much to lose. One hundred sixty five thousand is cool. I get back. You know what I'm saying? I make that, but it's it just a principle. So I just took it as a loss. Wow! Didn't didn't don't want to sue him, bro. I, bro, I I went that far, but the process was so much, and as I'm dealing with the process, trying to sue them with the guy, he, I'm dealing with that, trying to get the police and shit. I'm going to police station. I'm doing all this shit, and then when they just started acting crazy, I'm like, bro, I don't even, I'm doing all this for what? And this is all because you want to give a car away. I'm trying to help y'all. This is so crazy. And then you know, but one thing, by by the internet, I learned. Negative energy and negative news spread faster than positivity. Right, right. Like you know, it just, I don't even be tripping them on it. Long God, know what I do. My real fan, know what I do. Like, yeah, they see what I do. Bro, I can't entertain that. Bullshit. What about the second guy though? Because the first guy, not the second guy. Like, how, about, what, what was his situation? So his situation, he was so. It, it's some real funny shit, bro. I'm gonna be real. I just thought these niggas was messy as hell. It was a lot of. Cause somebody's coming to me saying something, they over here and they the only group saying a whole bunch of shit, you feel me? And shit coming back to me. And I'm like, what the? You told me this. And so um, with him, you feel me? I told him, good. I'm like, look, bro, I'm going to just uh, pay you for the car. Fuck it. I'll just get them. I'm, I'm going to get I'm gonna, we'll get the car back and I'll buy the car from you or whatever. You get you the money or whatever. How you want to do it? So I'm trying to get the car back from the uh, owners and shit. You know what I'm saying? But once I saw that he had something to do with the whole new shit too, I was like, oh, well, fuck you too then. It's over Right. So now but now y'all, but at the end of the day, where did they lose? Right. That's you spent 300, was. one dude spent like, what, 400 or whatever? You feel me? I'll give you that back. I lost $165,000. Right. Two cars that, you know what I'm saying, that I paid for that you guys obviously won. I lost that. And my business got hurt with a whole bunch of negativity. Right, people right, saying that right. I'm scamming, you see what I'm saying? Right. So I took the hit big, and y'all here complaining? Oh yeah, it was over. Are you still gonna do any more giveaways even after that? After well, learning, I, I, I'm, I'm the, the ones that I got. I got my truck right now, and I just I just did my Hellcat giveaway. You know what I'm saying? The woman she she took the hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars. Her parents on uh, dialysis or whatever, and I blessed her with that. Um, I got the truck, and I'm like I don't know. I got the old schools I want to do, bro. But I'm thinking about just ending this shit, bro. When you, when you want you deal with something, at first it was fun. You feel me? It was just my fan base. They was rock with me. It was us. Now it's like everybody doing it. Right. People to jeopardize the game. Right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And then people is ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm like, I'm done with it, damn man. As they say, the juice isn't worth the squeeze no longer. Oh no more. Yeah, that, that lemon dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I want to take it back to more peaceful times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was looking on the internet and I saw this video you had with 10 million views. And it was a video of you and your wife just getting up to wash y'all, brush your teeth. so funny. I, I, I'm like, what are they watching? I'm just like, really? This got you, 10 million views? You know what's so funny, bro? I swear, I can you not, bro. That was one of the recent videos I looked at one, and I was sitting there looking at that bitch, and I watched it. I said, bro, how the fuck did it get 10 million views, bro? <laughs> right. I'm just that's, like. That's the YouTube world, bro. It's like people back then, they love to see stuff like that. The couple goes and. To get more and get ready with me type of stuff is like you've been made what they like, bro. I, I, I was, I, be, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I'm like, this got two million. I was like, well, maybe he got naked or maybe they get naked <laughs> or, or something. It was no, I was just expecting it to be something more for ten million. That's probably what everybody. That's what everybody probably thought they were watching. Y'all, y'all ain't doing OnlyFans, huh? No, no, no. Not at all. Well, let me ask you this: What, what would you say to, or what do you feel about couples getting into that lifestyle, knowing that you have such hey, a? Shit, bro, with it. That's their life. Yeah, <laughs> bro. One thing about bro, I, why, 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 why do we live in a world where people watch other people? Not even just that, where everybody people really be worried about what you do with your life, right? 
<laughs> like if you want to get on the fan, that's your world. Like I don't care. I don't, what, 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 what opinion? Oh, you shouldn't do that or whatever. Like nah, bro. Like whatever make you happy. Long as ain't nothing negative. You right. ain't hurt nobody. You ain't right. stealing from nobody. You robbing nobody. Why is it a problem? You know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, they got to deal with that when they go out in public and people look at them like, oh, I seen your proud part or whatever, but you know, they comfortable with that. Corey, where you see yourself in the next 10 years? Because you'll be an older gentleman. I'll be what? The next 10 years, I'll be, what, 35? Yeah. Where you see yourself as a 35-year-old man? Still what... relatively young? Do you think you still be on the uh, social media? I mean, of course. I mean, because the fact that I'm a huge influencer and I impact a lot of people. And my goal and my purpose is to change a million lives. And I know I'm going to do more than that. So it's like, if I just get off of it, that means my purpose ain't going to be fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to continue to just do what I do until God says it's a wrap for me, you know? Oh, and the last thing, you got kids. What about your kids? Three boys. Yeah, that's, what, all, I'm, that's all I'm focused on, you know? Oh, can they get on social media and will you ha make them influencers or do you want to well, play you know, sports? Or? You know, man, I don't, I'm not going to try to force that on my kids. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, I know what I deal with. And I chose to deal with that because I had the I had the, the the mindset to choose that. Mm -hmm. They don't have the right to choose do they want to be influencers yet. So they have been on camera and stuff, but it's like I'm not forcing them when they get older, like, hey, you got to be this, you got to do this. Like, nah, I'll make sure that I'm going to raise my kids right, teach them what they need to know, you know, and I'm going to let them make their own decision what they want to do in life, get them an option, let them explore. So that's just that's the route I'm taking with my boys. I ain't going to put them out here in their room, man. It's like these people don't care about you, bro, you know. They, it get cruel out here. So, you know, they, they got to be mentally prepared for that before I put them in there. Because they ain't going to sit and they ain't going to blame you, nigga, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what this lifestyle you gave it to me? Like, nah, I'm cool. So, yeah, that's, that's, so I mean, you know, just let them they sports, whatever. And be business, man. One thing for sure, I'm just going to make sure they business, man. And On top of everything. And as far as the rap world, when is your album coming out? It, or is it ever I'm coming about to drop. I'm about to drop a mixtape right now, R.I.B. mixtape, bro. And I'm about to do a, uh, and then I got another, yeah, bro, I say probably the next three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. Uh, EP, oh. not EP, but a uh, mixtape. You got a name for it yet? Not yet. You know, it's all. Still waiting. It's is all, it's done though? Hundred percent? Like? Not hundred percent. I gotta do like about eight more songs. Okay. Cause I was gonna put like six songs. I don't like now. Nah, I put twelve. I was like fuck. You know, I I always try to like give my supporters what they want. And who do you want to work with? Yeah, matter, bro. I mean. I know, I know some of the people in the rap game are already personally, you know, and I'm cool with all these people. So, like, when it comes down to it, bro, I understand when it comes down to the business side of the music industry. So, dealing with certain people, I can't even deal with them because they ain't in control of themselves. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right, I understand. Yeah, I'm independent, you feel me? So, it's like, I don't want to even want to get into that, you know what I'm saying? So, whenever it come around, whoever I come across, and, you know, whenever... Makes sense because I'm cool with everybody, so I ain't no telling who you might see me on a song with. Right, you, you might just pop out. I ain't no telling. I got Cheap Keith, A's. I don't know, just names. A lot of rappers I can name. Bro. Wow, yeah, a lot well, of rappers. Well, appreciate you, man, for uh, sitting down with us, talking, yeah, Mr. Corey. Man. Where can they find you? For our fans who don't know who you are, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at Corey SSG. You know, everywhere just type in Corey SSG and they go pop up. <laughs> 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 I just, you know, because I tell you, I'm like, the, the good thing is it's not hard to find me in the internet. Right. You feel me? You can just type in SSG, Corey, Corey, Carmen, or whatever, and boom, there you go and just explore. I just tell you, just explore. So, we official members of the SSG Army now? <laughs> oh, man, of course, bro. Everybody everybody that support the SSG is a, it's a family member. You feel me? I try to tell people, it don't matter about no chain or shit like that, bro. If I rock with you, bro, you know what I'm saying? If you rock with me, bro, you're a part of the SSG. They're like me. Going to a concert and I don't know you, and you come up with my merch on, I tell you that you're not SSG because you don't got a chain. That's right. crazy. That's crazy. Right, you you right. support me, you SSG, you yeah. feel me? Right. But it, it, it is another level to become an SSG, <laughs> though. You feel me? That's right, that's right, that's right. It's another level to get personal, but nah, it's all, you come, your chain coming. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> my chain on the way. I, I, I ever told you I get a chain, so yeah, I appreciate it. I love you to show me, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's our respect. Also, you, you feel me, have me on the radio. And I like your energy. He cool as shit. <laughs> He's the OG. Like He's the OG, yeah, like, you, you know. Cool. But now I appreciate y'all for having me, man. You know oh, anytime, man. Anytime. Like I said, I think I first heard about you, besides the store, I saw you on the internet. And I just like the fact that you like to help people. Right. And when young people like to help people and get the next generation ready, I love that, man. man that and about. I can tell you got great energy. You didn't come up here. You didn't have a whole posse. You, 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 I'm shocked. One D. What? By myself. <laughs> By yourself. And I love that. Yeah. And that's it. We got to go. Let's get out of here. Let's go.